Imagine this. You finish prostate cancer treatment. You feel hopeful, stronger, ready to move on. Then one simple PSA test comes back rising again. The doctor says, we can't see anything yet on MRI or CT, but something may be there. This exact moment is why the PSMA PET scan is changing the game in prostate cancer. This isn't a normal scan. It's one of the most advanced imaging tools in modern oncology, a scan that can detect tiny cancer cells hiding anywhere in the body, sometimes even when MRI and CT show nothing. So today on Nourish Today, we answer one of the most important questions in prostate cancer diagnosis, PSMA PET scan. When do you really need it? Part 1. What exactly is a PSMA PET scan? A PSMA PET scan combines two technologies. PET scan shows how active cells are in the body, PSMA tracer, a radioactive marker that attaches to prostate cancer cells. Men don't normally have high PSMA in most cells, but prostate cancer cells have a lot of it. So when the tracer is injected into the bloodstream, it acts like a microscopic signal light that sticks to cancer cells, even tiny clusters of cells that are too small for regular imaging. After the tracer spreads, the PET scanner takes detailed 3D images of the body. The result? Cancer lights up. Doctors see exactly where it is. They can create a more accurate, personalized treatment plan. This is why major health systems like Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic, Harvard Health, Healthline, and WebMD all describe PSMA PET as one of the most powerful tools for modern prostate cancer imaging. Part 2. When is PSMA PET recommended? Here are the three most common groups of patients who benefit the most. 1. Rising PSA. After treatment, recurrence. This is the number one reason doctors order a PSMA PET scan. Example, a man had surgery or radiation. His PSA was low. Months or years later, PSA starts rising again. Doctors call this biochemical recurrence. The problem? Regular CT and MRI often miss small metastatic spots. PSMA PET can detect cancer early sometimes when PSA is as low as 0.2-0.45 ng ml. This helps doctors decide, do we use targeted radiation? Do we need hormone therapy? Has cancer spread further? Without the scan, treatment is like shooting in the dark. With PSMA PET, decisions are precise. 2. Newly diagnosed, high-risk prostate cancer. When a man is first diagnosed, his doctor needs to know how far the cancer has spread. Is it still inside the prostate? Has it reached lymph nodes? Has it spread to bone? Is it already metastatic? Traditional scans sometimes miss early spread, but PSMA PET finds it earlier. This prevents choosing surgery when cancer already left the prostate, doing radiation only to discover weeks later it was already in lymph nodes. Instead, Doctors can design the correct plan the first time. 3. Considering PSMA-targeted therapy, LU-177, Pluvicto. PSMA PEAT is also used before giving PSMA-based therapy, like LU-177. Why? Because the scan confirms that tumors actually have PSMA receptors. If they don't absorb the tracer, the treatment won't work. So PSMA PIT works as a diagnostic tool and a treatment eligibility test. Part 3. Who does not need a PSMA PET scan? Believe it or not, not everyone needs it. Men with low-risk prostate cancer, very small, slow-growing tumors, active surveillance without rising PSA, usually do not need PSMA PET. For these patients, doctors prefer PSA monitoring MRI, regular checkups, biopsy when needed. This avoids unnecessary radiation exposure, anxiety, and cost. So if your cancer is low risk and your PSA is stable, your doctor may say, let's wait. We don't need a PSMA PET right now. 
and that is medically correct. Part 4. What happens during the scan? Many patients worry because it sounds futuristic, but the process is simple. Step 1. A small injection of tracer. Step 2. 45-60 minutes of resting while tracer spreads. Step 3. 20-30 minutes inside the scanner. Step 4. Go home the same day. No surgery, no overnight stay, no pain, no recovery time. Doctors review the images and you get results soon after. Part 5. Advantages of PSMA PET. More accurate than CT or MRI for prostate cancer. Finds tiny metastases early. Helps avoid unnecessary treatment. Helps choose the right therapy. Improves survival by catching cancer before it spreads too far. Researchers from major cancer centers report that PSMA PET changes treatment decisions in up to 30-50% of patients, meaning many men receive better, more personalized care because of it. Part 6. Are there risks? Very low. The tracer has extremely small radiation exposure. Most people feel normal afterward. Rare mild side effects. Temporary headache, flushing, or nausea. For most patients, benefits are much greater than risks. Real example, story style. Imagine a 62-year-old man named David. He had surgery two years ago. Everything seemed fine until his PSA began rising. MRI and CT? Clear. Doctor said, Let's get a PSMA PET. The scan showed two tiny lymph nodes with cancer cells, too small to see on regular imaging. Because they were spotted early, doctors used targeted radiation. No need for full body treatments. PSA dropped again. Without PSMA PET, doctors would never have found them. Part 7 cost and accessibility. Some hospitals still don't have PSMA PET scanners, but the technology is expanding fast, especially in the US, Europe, and Asia. Insurance now covers PSMA PET for many. Recurrent prostate cancer. High-risk diagnosis. Treatment planning. Patients can ask, is PSMA PET available at your center? If not, where is the closest facility? PSMA PET is one of the most accurate imaging tools for prostate cancer. It detects tiny cancer cells that MRI and CT often miss. Best for men with rising PSA, high-risk disease, or PSMA-targeted therapy. Not needed for every patient. Helps doctors choose smarter, more personalized treatment. Final message with small humor. If regular scans are like looking for cancer with a flashlight, PSMA PET is like turning on the stadium lights. So if your PSA is sending warning signals, ask your doctor, is it time for a PSMA PET? And if they say yes, don't panic. It's not scary, it's not painful, and it may give you the most important information of your cancer journey.